Katie's birthday is December 30th, and she was born in Mastic Beach, Long Island in 1982. On the other hand, her life took a terrible turn when she was taken to a dungeon that was deep down and locked up there. The terrifying event lasted for more than three weeks. During that time, the Long Island Police Department diligently looked for the nine-year-old child who had gone missing. Let's have a look at the disturbing case of Katie Beers. Abuse and neglect were common themes throughout Katie's formative years. After being abandoned by her mother, she was taken in as a slave by her godmother, Linda, and the sexually perverted husband of Linda's godmother, Sal. She was held captive both physically and emotionally, and she was prevented from having any contact with the outside world. John Esposito, a family friend who was very important to her and played a pivotal part in her life, was the only person in the world that she put her faith in. John kidnapped Katie the night before her 10th birthday while the two of them were at Spaceplex, which was Katie's favorite place to go. She was escorted to a dark underground dungeon that was hidden behind the walls of her captor's home. Katie fought back by trying to escape by kicking open the door that looked like a coffin, but her attempts to do so were greeted with additional attacks. She was subjected to multiple acts of violence by the person holding her captive. In the meantime, the authorities were making every effort to track down Katie. They got a disturbing call from her godmother, Linda, who said that Katie had been kidnapped and taken away. However, doubts were raised as a result of the fact that the call had been scripted and that a nine-year-old child was able to use a telephone in the given conditions. After conducting an investigation into the call, the FBI came to the conclusion that it was a hoax designed to trick them into thinking Katie had been abducted. Katie, who was imprisoned in the dungeon, was able to maintain her sense of awareness by watching television around the clock. She found out that the police had found out that the call had been pre-recorded, which raised questions about the people in her life who had the motivation to hurt her. However, with the exception of John Esposito, every suspect possessed a rock-solid alibi. The authorities stepped up their watchful eye on him, and the media started taking an interest in his residence. Following several days of inquiry, the authorities finally carried out a search warrant at John's residence. A background check showed his participation in the Big Brother scheme, despite the fact that they first found no evidence of his engagement. John caved under the increasing amount of strain, which caused him to lose his composure. Katie was privy to the information that he intended to either take his own life or flee the country. Katie, upon realizing that her life was in danger, was successful in persuading him to let her live. The discovery of the hidden dungeon was made possible thanks to John, who, in an unexpected turn of events, directed the police and the prosecutor through the complex procedures involved in making the discovery. Katie was finally rescued, and when she realized she was safe, she couldn't believe it. Dominic Verone, who was in charge of the investigation, had not only rescued her from Esposito, but also discovered the full nature of the brutality that she had been subjected to. As a direct consequence of this, Katie was removed from her violent relatives and placed in the care of a foster family. Katie's tenacity and ability to bounce back from adversity enabled her to triumph over her troubled past. She was eventually adopted by a kind family and has since fulfilled many of her lifelong goals, including getting married and having children. Katie had the strength of character to refuse to be defined by the atrocities she had survived. She overcame her ordeal and established herself as a genuine survivor. Her story exemplifies the tenacity of the human spirit. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for where you go.